Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Timon of Athens and we've made it to Act 5. Hooray! We get to hear from the second senator today in Act 5, Scene 1. So Act 5, Scene 1, we're still out in the woods, kind of where Timon has been living. He's got like a little cave or something like that that he's living in. And we have already seen him give money to Alcibiades so that Alcibiades would go and fight a war against Athens, give money to a couple of women so that they would give venereal disease to a bunch of people and hopefully they would die, even though the women may or may not actually have diseases. Um, he gave, he didn't give money to Apomantis, but the two of them got into like a battle of the wits, a battle of their curmudgeons, and he eventually chased Apomantis off, but Apomantis was like, I'm going to tell everybody that you found gold, because while he was digging, he found some gold. So then some bandits came to try to steal that gold, and he talked them out of it. And then the steward slash Flavius came and was like, please just let me help you. And Timon was like, no no, get out of here and go live far away from other humans so that you can continue to be the one honest man left alive. And then they part ways. So at the beginning of Act 5, Scene 1, we get to see the poet and the painter again, who we haven't seen since the very start of the play. And they have heard that Timon has all kinds of gold living out here in the middle of nowhere in a cave. So they have come to see if they can get some of it. And the two of them are chatting amongst themselves. They're like, so what do you have to give him? And they're like, well, I don't really have anything right now, but I'll just tell him that I'm working on something for him. And then maybe he'll share some of his gold with me. Like he'll pay me in advance for this thing that I haven't made yet. Timon is actually watching them the whole time. And he's like, wow, you're idiots. You're just, uh. so finally he comes out to talk to them. And he's like, and he calls them honest men like seven times in about eight lines of text. So he's, he's really laying into the, it's sort of the Brutus is an honest man speech from, um, or Brutus is an honorable man from Julius Caesar, where you just say it enough times and then it starts to lose meaning and you wonder if they actually are honest. So he's really getting at them. He's like, you're honest men, right? You're honest men, you're honest men. And then he, he sort of shifts things to say that they're actually really good at lying because the painter makes things that are false and the poet writes things that are false. And he's like, you know, your one fault is that you're not very good at it. So he then he ends up chasing them away. I think he probably throws some gold at them as they leave, but he, he scares them away, gets them out of there because he wants nothing to do with them anymore. And he goes back to hide in his cave again. But then the steward and a couple of senators come in and the steward is like, he's really not seeing people right now. He's really just focused on himself. This is kind of silly for you to come out here. And the senators are like, no, you know, we, we need to come and talk to him. So they call for Timon who comes out and instantly curses the senators. And the senators are like, you know, we're, we're here on behalf of the Athenian people who are, are starting to miss you. And Timon's like, yeah, really, mm-hmm. And the second senator says, they confess toward thee forgetfulness too general gross, which now the public body, which doth seldom play the recanter, feeling in itself a lack of Timon's aid, hath since withal of its own fall restraining aid to Timon and send us forth to make their sorrowed render together with a recompense more fruitful than their offense can weigh down by the dram. Aye, even such heaps and sums of love and wealth as shall to thee blot out what wrongs were theirs and write in thee the figures of their love ever to read them thine. So what the second senator is saying is that the people of Athens have noticed that Timon's gone and they, they miss him and they miss the help that he used to give them. So they, they admit that they were unkind to him. They admit that they neglected him and to make up for it, they'll give him whatever he wants if he comes back to Athens. And, um, Timon is like, really? Like, wow, like you almost have me weeping at that like he's been waiting for this this kind of apology and then here it is and the the first senator continues on to say yeah like we we will give you whatever you want 
we really just want you to come back to Athens and take over as like take over the captainship of Athens, you know, lead us and help us because especially, you know, Alcibiades has kind of beaten down her door and wants to destroy the city. So we could really, really use your help if you wanted to come back and lead Athens. And Timon, of course, is going to have a response to that, which we will get to hear in tomorrow's monologue. So I'll see you then for that. Mwah.